Hey guys, it's Laura from Laura Mixpedia. Um, I wanted to make a video today just showing the differences between the Deco Art Media Crackle Mediums. Something that's kind of interested me since I realized that there were three of them. Um, I wanted to see how they were different, what kind of different uses you would have for them, and, and things like that. So I started by putting down um, a light in a dark color of the uh, fluid acrylic just to see if there was maybe a difference between how you would see the crackle and how it would come through. Um, so these are the three different mediums. There's paste, paint, and glaze. And they each have different um, kind of instructions for how you should use them. So I was just trying to see um, what I needed to do and if there was anything special that I maybe couldn't do. So I'm gonna start with the crackle paste and I'm just gonna use my palette knife to spread it over the area that I want it. Um, it says on the directions you can put this through a stencil or you can uh, mix it with paint and we're gonna try the mixing it later in the video. Then I'm gonna move on to the paint and I'm just gonna apply it with a paintbrush. You're supposed to do it kind of thick um, to get the better result. Not sure if I did it thick enough, but we'll see. And then this is the glaze. It's kind of more of a clear thing. You can see it, but it's shiny. Um, and I actually really like it. I didn't think I would like it as much as I do, but I think the, uh, the effect is really nice. So now we are going to mix the mediums with the fluid acrylic paint. So I'm just using the same colors and I'm going to start with the crackle paste and just mix it a little bit. Now it says it's tintable up to 20% um, so it doesn't get that full true color so it does look a little lighter. Um, and again you're supposed to do it in a kind of thick layer to get the best crackle effect. Um, so we're just going to do that with both colors and see what happens. So now I'm going to do the same thing with the crackle paint. Um, when I did this, I don't think I did enough. So the end result doesn't end up being super crackly. So I'm going to end up trying it again just because I think I didn't do the paint thick enough. I keep saying you have to do it thick. That's why. Because I didn't do it thick enough and it didn't get the, the crackle that I thought it should. Um, so we'll try it again later in the video. So here I wanted to show you that even though nothing is dry yet, you can still see the crackles starting on the edges. Once everything kind of dries in the middle, you'll be able to see the uh, full effect. So here we go. The paste looks really awesome. The paint, you can't really see that much on the video, but um, I love the glaze. That's just so cool. And then I was kind of showing you there that the paint and paste mixed with the mediums didn't get quite the crackle that I had wanted. So here I'm taking a lot more of it and I'm going to mix it again just to um, 
try to lay it on thicker and get a better result. So I'm just gonna do that here real quick with both the paste and the paint. And I tried to add a little bit extra of the um, of the fluid acrylic to see if it would make it darker, but as you can see, it doesn't really work. Um, so I think that's kind of just the darkness that you can expect if you're going to mix them together. So this is the paste first again, and then I'm gonna do the paint. All right, so now I am doing the paint again. Um, I'm just gonna mix it up and you'll see that I try to spread it on thicker um, and use a bit more paint. And I don't know if that ends up helping at the end. I don't know if that was based on user error um, because the paint without mixing the acrylic in cracked pretty well but the paint with mixing the acrylic in wasn't as cracky as I expected it to be. So I'm not sure if maybe I mixed too much or didn't use enough paint or what entirely the deal was. Um, but it was probably definitely something that I did. All right, so now we let everything dry and this is the crackle paste result. It looks really great. Um, and then this is gonna be the paste mixed with the fluid acrylics and you can see kind of those huge cracks at the bottom. And then this is the paint without anything mixed in. And it looks really good. And then it looks like the green on that bottom there did a lot more of the cracking than the, the darker color. Um, and then this is the glaze. So now I decided to kind of tint the cracks a little bit. So I went back over the, um, the mediums with some of the fluid acrylic, a little bit darker, not super dark, um, just to kind of make those cracks pop a little bit. And I'm gonna spritz the paint with water so that way it's not just like a layer over top, it's really just like, I guess, a glaze kind of. Um, and I do it over the crackle glaze also, which I think looks super cool. Um, just because it makes the everything kind of pop out a little bit. You can still see the color underneath, um, but you can really see those cracks now. Now if I had to pick a favorite medium out of these three, I would say that the paste is my first favorite just because it's so much easier to use and it's so versatile. Um, I would say the glaze surprisingly is my second favorite just because of the cool effect that it gives and I really like it. And then the paint is probably my last favorite just because um, there are like smaller cracks and that's basically it. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this little review and that it's inspired you to go out and play.